What you need to know about GIST, gastrointestinal stromal tumor. Your gastrointestinal or GI tract is made up of your esophagus, your stomach, and your small and large intestines. It forms the basis of your digestive system, transporting food through the body, breaking it, and absorbing all the helpful nutrients your body needs. A gastrointestinal stromal tumor or GIST involves overgrown cells or tumors that make their way into the GI tract in clusters. GISTs are developed in cells lining your GI tract that belong to the autonomous nervous system. Most GISTs are found in the stomach, with the small intestine being the second most common location for them. GISTs can be benign, as in non-cancerous, or malignant, as in cancerous. What are the symptoms of GIST? The symptoms of GIST can vary according to the location of the tumors. Their severity also varies from person to person. Most cases of GIST showcase the following symptoms. Pain in the abdomen, or general discomfort there, bloody stools, regular fatigue, bowel obstruction, vomiting and nausea, feeling a mass in your abdomen, finding it difficult to swallow feeling full after eating very small portions. A lot of these symptoms are also associated with several other problems. However, seeking medical help for them can help in finding GIST early. What is the survival rate? GIST survival rates are often calculated for five years, with the stage of the disease affecting the survival rates. Here are the survival rates for each stage for five years when compared to people without GIST. Localized, 93% survival rate. Regional, 80% survival rate. Distant, 55% survival rate. The average of all stages comes out at 83%. Diagnosing GIST. A typical GIST diagnosis is done after a thorough medical examination and detailed patient history. The diagnosis takes place after any of these tests a CAT or CT scan for a thorough view of the GI tract, an MRI of your GI tract, an upper endoscopy to get an inside view of your GI tract, an endoscopic ultrasound, an EUS FNA biopsy, which is an endoscopic biopsy of your GI tract. If GISTs are found, more MRIs, X-rays, or CT scans may be conducted on other parts of your body to check if the tumors or cell clusters have spread beyond the GI tract. How is it treated? The treatment offered for GIST depends on whether the tumors can be excised by surgeons or if the tumors have spread through the body and cancer has metastasized. Four typical treatments for GIST include removing the tumors via surgery, waiting for the symptoms to go away by themselves in benign cases, Targeted therapy using drugs known as tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs, that stop tumor growth. TKIs are healthier for the body's normal cells as compared to radiation or chemotherapy. Supportive care for when the GIST becomes too debilitating for your life. Causes. GIST is caused by mutation of the GI cells due to radiation or carcinogens, causing them to divide abnormally and developing tumors. Risk factors. Common risk factors associated with GIST include ages between 50 to 80. GIST cases among younger people are rare. Genetic disorders, such as familial gastrointestinal stromal tumor syndrome. This leads to GIST developing at a relatively younger age. Neurofibromatosis 1, or von Recklinghausen's disease, also known as VRD. Mutations in the succinate dehydrogenase, or SDH, genes. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.